I believe that Stanford's in the best position to lead us into the future for neurosurgery. Stanford is the perfect place to participate in the neuroscience revolution. If you look at what Stanford has done, we're leading the way in restorative neurosurgery, the brain-machine interface. We have a leading stem cell institute to bring function back to people. In terms of personalized therapy, we're pushing the frontiers in genetics and immunotherapy. We're also positioned well to be able to deliver care, not just within the Bay Area, but to the world. It's a dream come true for somebody like me who is interested in both, good patient care and coming up with the next generation of therapies. So if there is a part of neuroscience that's making great progress on basic mechanisms and some of the leaders, and these are generally PhD scientists, are making progress, then we have to connect that progress to what's a patient need, what aspects of patient neurologic problems can benefit from that progress, and how do we put those two together? So Stanford's a great environment for that. I think what makes this place special is the people. We get the best and brightest in the world to come here. And as a result, when you get amazing people and you put them in one area, they are able to exchange ideas. And as a result, it's no accident that Stanford has bond companies. We get large program project grants and we develop new ideas and new patents and new devices. As an example, Stanford was one of the pioneers for the BioX program. That's a program where you bring a clinician together with engineers and chemists and you put them in a room to be a think tank and they come up with ideas. And from those ideas, they develop devices so much progress in research really requires having access to the latest and very best uh, technology, whether it's the latest brain scanning or the ability to measure thousands of proteins in the blood at the, at the same time, working with data scientists to make sense of the data. That's all here at Stanford. So we're fortunate enough to have a funding system here that allows people to have access to seed funding, and funding for their time to really try innovative approaches. And one of the great joys of an academic career for a faculty or trainee is the opportunity to take a risk and try something entirely new for the first time. Having neurology and neurosurgery together is important for patient care and for research. We're fortunate here at Stanford that we've created a system and a culture where neurosurgery and neurology are tied in very closely and that leads to better care in all of our joint efforts, whether it's epilepsy patients, because we might be treating them both medically and with implanted devices, our Parkinson's patients. And so the fact that we have a, a unified culture here really gives us huge advantages in both care and research. Today, we're at this inflection point where we have amazing tools to be able to sequence at a single cell level and do immunophenotyping at 40 times the resolution of what we could have done years ago. We are going to understand the different subtypes, different nuances of these diseases. As a result, precision medicine is going to be critical, and that's just scratching the surface of what Stanford has to offer. Precision health means really doing a better job identifying which of our patients are at risks for certain neurologic conditions, and then tailoring or customizing our treatments or our trials for those patients. Stanford Neurosurgery is one of the most diverse programs in the country. Through diversity, you get different thoughts, you get different ideas, different perspectives, and that's what really drives innovation. Being part of one of the best academic research communities in the world, having access to the very best technology in biomedical medicine is a dream come true for a career in medicine, and we're so fortunate to have that.